What's up everybody? Got a little update on the XR project. I've been kind of slowly and subtly been working on it, but progress has been slow and so just even doing a time lapse would have been pretty boring. But um just now I finished putting on the exhaust system finally. I just originally had to send the the new headers back because they weren't bent right and it kept hitting the frame and uh just it wasn't it wasn't going on so but FMF was real quick about um, the customer service was awesome and they got it back to me um, they got it on Wednesday and I had it back at my house um, yesterday so it was a quick turnaround so there's the exhaust all set up um, and it's been trying my patience but I got all the electrical at least on the back end um, that's all done so so I need to do the the tail light but all the turn signals and everything is routed up through here. Oh geez. Um, let's see. So I've just been real careful about with the wiring on my CBR when I did the, the brake lines. I didn't put the fairings back on right or I wasn't mindful of where the wires were and it ended up um, shorting out the part of the uh, like you know like the speedometer and a tachometer and all those motors, whatever. Um, so I'm just trying to be real careful about where all these wires are going. Make sure there's no movement that's gonna that's gonna mess them up. So got my air filter in there. I had to with that little blue napkin on there. I had um, this crankcase breather, and so I had to order a a little filter for that last night. With the new carburetor, there's not with with none of the um, emission stuff. There's pretty much gas goes in. There's no vents and all kinds of other junk coming out of it. So I'm gonna have to find a, a place to mount that. I don't know if I'll leave it right there on the engine just because it's so exposed. Maybe I'll try to route it up a little bit further, kind of tuck it out of the way. Um, but that's that. I've got the oil cooler on. I've got actually pretty easy to mount up um, coming it comes out of the original fuel lines over here and then this this particular oil cooler is by GS mark um, he's I guess this isn't his like profession is you know making bike parts but um, with the manual and everything it just made it made the installation completely foolproof and uh, I'm I think it looks pretty clean. It was a clean install and setup. So, thank you, sir, for making an outstanding product. Hopefully, someone will see this and purchase one. Um, but now, the big thing is what to do with all this mess up here. Um, the vapor trail tech, trail tech vapor, the whatever you want to call this thing. I'm brain dead right now. Uh, with this thing going in, there's not too much more wiring. You have these these four outputs here. Well, like these four as well. You have power. There's there's the tack. There's engine engine temperature, power, and then the speedometer cable. That'll be there's a magnet that goes on the front rotor. Um, it just has this little this little plug in here. But since there's not going to have the whole stock headlight assembly to keep everything covered up. I just wanted to try to do as neat of a of an installation as possible. I don't have any electrical background so again don't want to short anything out. So I was just trying to figure out what to do with all of this nonsense. I'm in the process of um, labeling where everything goes that way I'm kind of a, a visual person so just so it all has to connect. So I went out and got a soldering gun today and some more electrical tape and I'm gonna go crazy with it. Um, so let's see. That's probably about it. I've got both of the calipers rebuilt front and rear. Brake lines installed. Electrical's done. Let's see what else, what else. Um, with the new front tire I installed new inner tubes and everything and the new one is flat so the reason that's not on the bike right now is because well I got a I got a lemon 
So maybe a new inner tube tomorrow and then finally get this thing off the stand. So that's where the that's where the bike is right now. It's, I can't wait to freaking ride this thing, man. How long has it been? A couple months now. It's been sitting in here. But it's nearly ready to start up. A spark plug and everything is in. Need to hook up the battery and finish up this electrical and ready to fire this thing up. I want to hear that how that exhaust sounds. So, thanks guys for tuning in, and I will catch y'all later.